Okay, my name is Jed McKeon, and today I'm going to be talking about statutes of limitation. Now, the statute is an interesting word. It essentially is a fancy word for law. And what a statute of limitation is, is a law which states how long you have to bring a lawsuit against someone who may have injured you. So in each state, the statute of limitations for various things are different. But in the state of Tennessee, where I'm located, <clears throat> I'll go over some of the statute of uh, limitations that people commonly encounter in suits. Now, the first one and most common is a personal injury lawsuit or a car wreck. When you're injured, um, there's a fender bender, and you're thinking about bringing a lawsuit. Your statute of limitations from the date of injury is one year. So you have, say you get uh, hurt on May 15th, you have until May 14th or May 15th, depending on the calculations, to file that suit of the next year. So that's the most common uh, statute that you en encounter. Some of the other ones that you would encounter, contract statute of limitations is six years. You have six years to bring a suit on a contract. Uh, for libel, uh, written, uh, written defamation of someone is one year. Slander, spoken, is six months. Medical malpractice or any, almost any kind of professional malpractice is one year. Uh, products liability is one year. Uh, damage to property, though, is three years. So for most of the uh, statute of limitations uh, time frames, you have one year from the date of injury or the date you discover the injury, uh, which is usually the same time. Uh, you get injured and you almost immediately find out that you're hurt. You have one year to bring a lawsuit or file that lawsuit against that uh, other individual who harmed you. Now there are a few ways to toll the statute of limitations, meaning giving you longer time. If someone is a minor, they have until one year after they turn 18 to file a lawsuit. So if a 16-year-old um, is injured in a car wreck, they essentially have three years to bring that suit. Or if someone is, has mental incapacity, um, they're uh, mentally disabled, that may toll the statute of limitations as well. Uh, another way that you can toll the statute, your, your uh, timeline is getting close to the end, and you're trying to work it out, but you're not sure if you're going to with the other side, one thing you can do is file a lawsuit and then file something called a non-suit, meaning that you're uh, pulling back from your current suit that you filed. And then once you file the lawsuit and you file a non-suit, that same lawsuit, you have a whole nother year to refile the suit. And you can only do that once. But that's another way to give yourself a year if you're all are in negotiations or talking about going to a mediation to try to figure things out and you're getting close but you just need a little bit more time. And often defense companies will string uh, individuals representing themselves along to the very end and then they get in a uh, situation that if it goes past the year then they'll stop talking to you uh, because they're not in any risk of being sued anymore because the statute has run. So th these are some things you want to be very careful about if you've been injured and are contemplating suit. You can't wait around for forever. You need to act sooner rather than later so your attorney can uh, have time to gather the facts and uh, properly present a suit to the court on your behalf. So I could talk a, a lot more details about statute of limitations, but these are some of the basics in regard to some of the things you need to be thinking about if you're in the process of potentially filing suit. Again, my name is Jed McKeon, and you can find out more about me at attorneyknoxville.com, attorney-knoxville.com.